everybody, it's currently Monday the 20th of February today. It feels a bit strange filming a vlog today because I only filmed my last one a few days ago because um, I filmed it a bit later in the week last week. So I was debating whether to actually film a studio vlog today because I was worried that I wouldn't have anything to put in it because I'm not really doing much aside from packing my orders which I feel like you see me do all of the time. But yeah, you'll have to let me know if you enjoy seeing me pack orders, if you don't mind that being in every studio vlog. I just feel like it's the same content over and over again. But when I think about the studio vlogs that I watch, I love watching people pack orders and I love them being in every vlog. So you'll have to let me know. But yeah, today's focus is going to be this morning packing orders, getting those packaged and ready to go later on to the post office. But I thought today what I'd do is show you how I make my greeting cards as well because I need to get a Mother's Day card up on the website and Etsy because that's coming up soon. I think it's the 19th of March here in the UK. So I've got an idea in mind for a Mother's Day card. I think I'm literally just going to do one this year. Um, Mother's Day isn't particularly a busy time for my business. It's usually just Christmas and Valentine's Day that are like the busiest times. But I do still want to get one up there anyway and I've got a cute idea for it. So I'll show you that process, how I make my greeting cards. Um, hopefully you'll find that interesting. If you can hear some weird noises in the background. It's Otis, my dog, because he's got the hiccups and he's making really weird noises. He's just sat looking at me right now. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be quite a chilled one today again. The Valentine's rush is now obviously over because it's now the 20th of February. That was a crazy time. It was so busy. I'm so grateful for all the orders. But the shop's calmed down a bit now and I've got a nice steady stream of orders coming through that I can get out every single day. So I'm aiming to dispatch orders same day um, from now on until it gets busier again. But for now, that seems to be working out well. So... Yes, let's get packing some orders. Everybody has their job, nine to five, and getting drained. They settle for second best, scared to risk what the future might bring. What the future might bring. So I'm sure, as you can probably hear in the background, my printers are going. They're printing my greeting cards that I need to pack and also any wall art print orders that I've got. So they're printing off in the background while I put all my labels onto my envelopes. So just while I sit here and do this, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, the shop update that I'm planning on doing soon. So. If you've been watching my studio vlogs from the very first one I put on, which is a good few weeks ago now, I think this will be studio vlog number nine, and I've been doing them every week, so that's like nine weeks ago. In my very first studio vlogs, I designed some enamel pins for a new shop update that will be coming soon. So they've been a while in production, they're literally being made right now and in discussions with the company that I'm using to produce or manufacture the enamel pins they said that the pins should be with me by the middle of March so the pins went into production on the 7th of February I think and it can take up to 30 days for them to be manufactured and then they get shipped out to you so Hopefully it won't take as long as 30 days, it might do, um, but there haven't been any complications so far, so hopefully it won't take 30 days, but if it does, they'll be ready at the middle of March and then shipped out to me, so they should be with me around, like, say the 14th, around the week of the 14th to the 21st of March, so I'm hoping that when they get delivered, I can then photograph all the pins and hopefully have the new shop update launch at the end of March. So maybe like the second to last week of March or it might have to be the last week of March, depending on like 
if I get time to photograph everything and stuff like that and get the listings on the website. So I'm really excited for the next shop update because it's going to be my biggest one yet. So I'm going to have the five new enamel pins. I only have one enamel pin on my shop right now and it was one of my 2023 goals to have a little enamel pin collection. So I'm getting there so we'll have six on the shop when those arrive. We're also going to have six new stickers. Um, it might actually be more than six. I've been having like little doodling sessions at night on the sofa and just getting some ideas down on my iPad and I think some of those would make really cute stickers as well so there might actually be quite a few more than six but definitely at least six new stickers. Then we're going to have five new wall art prints and the prints will come in the usual sizes so the largest size I do is A3 and the smallest I do is a six or six by four size so five new wall art prints and also three new bookmarks as well so yeah there's gonna be lots of new stuff coming and I'm really excited about it it's just gonna be the taking the photographs of everything that will be the most time-consuming thing I think um, especially the enamel pins because I've never really photographed them properly before so I need to get some ideas in my little brain ready to <laughs> photograph those and I also definitely want to take some videos of those as well for my Etsy listings because they're gold plated so they um, reflect in the light and look different depending on how the light's shining on it so I think a video will be really good for them so yes shop updates should be coming towards the end of March which isn't actually that long it's the end of February now towards the end of February so about a month to wait and then there'll be some new goodies on the website which I'm really excited about, as you can tell, because I've said it about 10 times now already. But yeah, I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update because if you have watched those early vlogs, you're probably thinking, where the hell is this shop update this girl has been on about for about 10 years? Um, it is coming. It's just a bit of a slow one because obviously the pins have had to be manufactured because I've outsourced those. Because usually I make everything on my shop myself. I produce them here in my little home studio, but enamel pins I can't make myself so yeah I've sent off those but the proofs and everything look so good I can't wait for them to arrive I think I'll do like an unboxing video of all the stock and show you everything on the shop launch and put that video up on YouTube maybe like the day of the shop launch I'm not sure yet but yeah you'll definitely be able to see everything before or when it launches so don't worry about that right let me get these labels on the envelopes because I've just been talking to you and completely disregarded what I was actually doing so yes let's do that now yeah. here's to the good days here's to the sorrows if this is a mistake I know about tomorrow I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just wanna make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I wish you the best and say First love, and you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies. Yeah, promise I won't forget. Yeah. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now, it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to let it go, and that's why I. Get dressed and then we cry Cause we both 
just finished packaging up all my orders and I now have no open orders on Etsy. I've caught up with every single one, which I don't think I've done since before Christmas because I had the Christmas rush and then the Valentine's Day rush and I finally managed to caught up, catch up with every single order and I have no new orders. They're all completed. That's a really good feeling knowing that all orders are going to be sent out today and no one will be waiting for them. They're not waiting to be packaged or anything. They're all out today. So I can now keep on top of orders and try and dispatch same day or next day where possible. So yeah, that's really exciting. It's a weight lifted off my shoulders. It's really weird looking at my Etsy shop and seeing no open orders like you can see here. New orders none which is crazy um so yeah obviously i am grateful for every single order and as soon as my laptop pings and says that i've got a new order i will be getting it done straight away so i can keep on top of them I'm super grateful for every single order but it's such a good feeling knowing that everything's caught up with and no one's um, waiting for their orders to be dispatched now, which is really good. So what I want to do now is I need to update my website because on the homepage, it still says as the main header um, about my Valentine's Day card collection. So I need to change that and I think I'm going to change it um, to a banner to tell people about my new notebooks that I put up in my last studio vlog. So if you didn't see that, I'll link it up here if I can remember how to do that. I uploaded four new little mini notebooks to my website, these four here, if you saw them. So I'm gonna put those pictures onto a header banner thing and then put that on my website to update my homepage. So I'm gonna do that now. Then after that, I'll show you how I make my greeting cards and you can make a new Mother's Day card with me so you can see that process and hopefully you'll find that interesting so yeah let's update the website quickly and I might just grab some lunch first because I'm starving <laughs> I've just got myself some lunch I've got I'm obsessed with tiger bread at the minute with smoked salmon pate on it so that's what I've got for my lunch and I've made myself a coffee as well um but what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you how I make my headers and banners for my website so i use a platform called canva i'll put the logo here see if you recognize it um but i use this for so many different things i pay for the pro version which is like 10.99 a month but it's really worth it because i use it nearly every day so i'm just going to show you how i make my banner um and then we can see what it looks like when it's up on the website okay i'm hoping you can see this okay but basically this is my website homepage at the minute so as soon as you go onto it it says shop valentine's day cards but i mean it's currently the 20th of february so yeah i need to update this so this is the image that i used i've just deleted the little heart banner part that was on it this is canva if you've not seen it before and so i'm just going to delete all the valentine's day pictures that i put on i'm going to keep that little banner there though because i might want to use that so i'm just going to put all my notebook pictures on here and then i need to figure out how to arrange them so let's just delete some for now We'll go with this size at the minute. So I'm just going to size them all up so they're the same. And then I might have to change them. We'll have to see. Okay, so because I've got six pictures here, I might just add another one in so that I can have two rows of images. I'm just going to make them slightly bigger because I want them all to just fit comfortably on this top row. So, yeah, there we go. That's the perfect size. So I'm just going to size these up to the same. And then I'll put this on the bottom. And then for the sixth picture, I'm just going to upload another one of a close-up of the smiley plant one, I think, so that they're 
in each corner so I'll just upload that quickly. So I'll just put this extra picture of the smiley plant one in this corner so that there's a close up there as well. And then I'm going to bring this little banner to the front and make it a little bit more transparent so you can see the images behind it. And then actually I'll make it a little bit a little bit more opaque than that. And then when I upload this to the website, I can put here um, new notebooks, shop new notebooks or something like that. So I think I'm just going to leave it as this. So I'm going to export that as a PNG. I'll keep it at that resolution. And then I'll show you what it looks like when it's uploaded. Okay, I've just updated it. So I'm going to refresh it and you'll see the before and after. So this is the before with the Valentine's Day banner. Please work. Yeah, there we go. Then we've got the new notebook one here. I think that looks really cute. And then if you just scroll down, I've got all my different sections like my prints, bookmarks, pins and things like that. But yeah, now that's the first thing you see when you go onto my website. So if people click shop new notebooks, then they're all there and really readily accessible. So I'm really happy with how that looks. And yeah, that was a job that definitely needed doing today. <laughs> Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to make a Mother's Day card with you so you can see exactly how I make my greeting cards. So just as a bit of background for this card design that I'm going to do, every 1,000 or so orders, I change up the thank you card that I send out with all orders. So as an example, my thank you card back in October was this Hello Pumpkin one. So it's like a little print at the front and then when you turn it over, then it has the thank you message on the back with a discount code and things. Um, but yeah, you can frame this. It's just a six by four or A6 print um, that can go in a frame or you could just pin it up somewhere. But I like to do this so that then the thank you card won't just hopefully go in the bin and it may get a bit of use out of it if people like the design. So yeah, I change it every a thousand or so orders. And I've just run out of my last design, which was the Your Shrimply Amazing design, which I'll put here so you can see it. That's why in the shots I just showed you earlier of me packing the videos, they didn't have any thank you cards in them because I didn't realise that I didn't have another pack of them left and I've actually ran out of them. So last night I designed a new thank you card on my iPad and I love the design so much that I'm going to turn it into my Mother's Day card for this year as well with a different pun on it. So I'm going to show you the new thank you card now. They've not been delivered but I've just printed one just so that I know what it will look like. And it's this little snail that says take things at your own pace. And I'm just obsessed with the green and pink um, colour palette of this print. So I'm going to turn this design into a Mother's Day card with the pun snailing motherhood or your snailing motherhood. Not decided 100% on it yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a screen recording here now hopefully of me turning this print into a Mother's Day card design and I just use Procreate which is an app on my iPad. I use this to illustrate all of my items and products on my shop so all my cards, prints, stickers, Procreate is what I use and yeah I'm just going to show you the process now here of me changing this design to a Mother's Day greeting card and then what I'll do next is I then put that design again on Procreate on a file that I've got where it splits the page into two greeting cards so I have the back of the card on the left side and the front of the card on the right hand side and then I can print two A6 cards on an A4 sheet and then that page is ready to print and then I obviously get two cards per A4 sheet and yeah once it's printed I'll then show you how I cut and score my cards and get them packaged ready to send out to you so now let's get it printed and see what it looks like so i've now sent the document to my laptop and i'm now going to print it from here so i just go file print and then i select my greeting cards printer and the settings i have it on is a4 borderless 
and I have it on matte photo paper I believe if I go to quality and media it should be yeah matte photo paper and print quality is set as high and yeah I'm just going to send that to print and then I'll show you what it looks like once it's printed So the cards are now printed, so I've printed two onto one A4 sheet, and here's what it's looking like. I'm really happy with how the colours have come out. It's a little bit bright on camera because of the light coming through on the window, but I think they look so cute. So there's two per sheet, and like I said earlier, the back of the cards printed on one side and the front the other. So now I'm just going to slice down the middle so that we've got it separated into two cards and then we're going to score it as well so the card guillotine that I use I've had a few questions about this I can't remember for definite where it was from because basically my sister is a teacher and she had this guillotine years ago and she doesn't use it anymore so when I started Prince by Millie she gave me it to use um, because she wasn't using it anymore it was just sat in her garage I think you can get similar ones from the range it might have been from the range quite a few years ago but I'm not 100% sure but basically it's just this bog standard paper guillotine um, but it does have a really good cut on it it never leaves like well it always just cuts straight through the cards that I use I've never had any problems with it and I've been using it for over two years now so yeah it's a really good one I'm sorry I can't tell you exactly where it's from it says that the brand is Avery, if that helps, it might do. But yeah, that's the paper guillotine that I use. And then to score my cards, I use this here, which is just a card scorer. So you put the card and slot it underneath this plastic thing that lifts up. And then this black handle is what scores through the card. So it has like a little blunt end on it that scores the card. So I'll just show you how I do that quickly. I literally just slice down the middle this way and then I score the cards down the middle that way. It's pretty self-explanatory but I'll show you anyway. The angle's not great but basically I'll just show you exactly what I do. So I put the card through here, line it up so that it's going to cut exactly down the middle of the card. Slice it that way. And then I'll just chop a tiny little bit off the end of this one because it's got a little white line at the bottom. So now the cards are both cut. So we've got the two separate cards here and now I'm going to score them. So I'll swap my guillotine for my card scorer, which is down here. And then basically there's like a little line here, hopefully you can see it. And you need to line it up so that the middle of your card sits on this line because that's where it's going to be scored. So that's what I'll do next. So I'll just line it up so it's dead in the middle. Put the cover down and then nice and firmly score down the middle of the card. And then it folds perfectly with ease and now I have my Mother's Day greeting card I'm really happy with how these have turned out I love them I'm obsessed with green and pink at the minute so I, d I knew I wanted to use that on my Mother's Day card and I just thought that thank you card design would be perfect to make into like a mum and baby card I think that's really sweet so yeah let's do the next one same thing again just down the middle nice and firmly and there we go there's the two cards finished I've just realized I don't think I actually said where this card scorer is from I got this from Amazon a couple of years ago I'm sure they still do it um, it is actually meant to be a guillotine and scorer in one so it did have like a little pink lever I'm calling it a lever I don't know <laughs> what else to call it it's not a lever but it has a little pink one on there as well um, that cut through card 
but it wasn't very good i prefer my guillotine so i just took the pink one out and literally i just use this for card scoring but yeah it's really good it's really handy how you can line it up against the bottom so you know it's going to score in the right place so yeah they're all cut ready my two cards so i'll now show you how i get them packaged ready for when people purchase them so i use craft envelopes so they're these brown envelopes they're made from recycled um, material and what i do is i take the envelope and i slot it in the middle of the card and fold it around the card like that I mean fold the card around the envelope like so and then what I do and then what I do is I have card catch stickers now to secure the card to the envelope so you get them on a sheet like this it's an A4 sheet and I got these printed by an external company so i'll leave the name on screen because i can't remember where i got them printed but i'll leave it here so that you know i think it might have been printed.com or instant print one of the two probably wrong but you'll find out because i'll put it here just peel one of those off so they peel off really easily like that and then i put the logo on the front And then fold it around so that it then secures at the back as well so then it's just got the logo there at the front and when they turn it over they know to peel there to remove the sticker and the stickers come off really easily they don't leave any marks or anything they're really good i did used to package them in cellophane sleeves but to reduce waste and plastic i decided to now go for card catch stickers instead and i think they look really lovely like that so i'll just do the other one and there it is it's as easy as that so these two are now ready to go out to anybody who purchases them i think i'll get the, that Mother's Day card design up on the website and Etsy now so that that's out the way and it's there ready for people to purchase for Mother's Day because I feel like people might be thinking of buying Mother's Day cards um, from now on now Valentine's Day is out the way so I'll do that now I won't show you that because I showed you the other day how I put um, things on to Etsy so I won't bore you with that again but yeah I really hope you found that interesting and useful if you are thinking of making greeting cards yourselves I just use a matte card it's 300 GSM GSM is just like the paperweight um, they're really nice and thick and durable and sturdy so they make really good greeting cards I've been making greeting cards since January 2021 so two years now which is crazy and they're probably what I sell most of to be honest on Etsy and my website greeting cards are my most popular product so yeah I really hope you found that useful let me know if you did in the comments I'm going to leave the studio vlog here for today because like I said I'm just going to put that Mother's Day card on my website and Etsy shop ready for people to purchase so if you like the look of that card and want to get it for your mum or a motherly figure in your life then I'll leave the link down below so you can check out the listing on my website or Etsy but yes I really hope you've enjoyed this studio vlog thank you so much for all the love on my studio vlogs I can't believe how much you guys are loving them I just did them because I thought it would be fun to document um, running my small business Prince by Millie and it seems like you're all really loving them as well which is so good and I'm really grateful that you choose to spend minutes of your day watching me just in my little studio pottering about getting orders done but yeah I'm really loving making them and I really look forward to filming and editing the studio vlog every week so yes if you're new here please consider subscribing if you want to see more studio vlogs like this there'll be one up every single week as well as some other videos as well i really hope you've enjoyed watching this video if you did please like it so that it can go out to more people who might like to watch this video and more people can join us over on this channel i am so grateful for you watching thank you so much hope you enjoyed it and i'll hopefully see you in the next one bye